Today we're going to be looking at possibly the most boring interactive display I think I've ever made and it's it, that's saying something. So this is what is called a delay relay. It's a relay that basically has an inherent delay to its action. This one that you're looking at in particular is a Edison Model 501 and it's a thermal delay relay. It's basically a vacuum tube that's got a switch contact inside of it and a thermal element to it that when it heats up it actually pushes the contacts together and this adds an inherent delay to its action. In this specific relay it's 150 seconds and it takes 27.5 volts to uh, yeah basically make it not turn on for 150 seconds. This is a normally open relay but you can also get the same but normally closed. Uh, I don't have any normally closed in fact I've only got two delay relays. I've got this one by Amperite which is unfortunately broken which is a shame if you look closely up here you'll see the contact it is currently open it's on top of this long metal plate that has windings around it these windings when they heat up it makes the metal plate sort of push over to close the contact between the two points and this inherently adds delay to the action and you can get these relays in various different delay times and various different voltages I, I, I didn't know of these things until I spotted this on eBay the other week and it immediately fascinated me. It's just a really interesting thing because it's a cross between a light bulb and a relay basically and a valve. It just looks really quite awesome that I needed to make something sort of interactive out of it. So this brings us onto the box that it's currently on. If I take it out of its socket, oh, it's just an octal socket. It's just a standard octal tube socket that is on top of here. Next to it is this really quite fetching light. Uh, the bulb in there was blown so I uh, modified it and added a little LED in there. It actually looks quite similar. So it's just an LED going in here. And basically the premise of this box is, well, you push the button and it sends voltages to the heating element in the delay relay and you've got to basically wait for 150 seconds before this turns on. I know it's super boring, but it's sort of interesting and it does offer a faint glow and it does get quite hot. First off, what kind of applications would these delay relays be used for? Well, quite a lot of the time they are found in valve items that can be damaged uh, when it's cold and high voltage is sent into the valves. This enables all of the heater filaments inside the machine to heat up as it's turned on before the rest of the circuit is functioning. So it kind of just gives the heaters a head start and this heats up accordingly to the time that is required for the machine. This specific one, like I said, being 150 seconds. So inside of this box is extremely simple. It's got the power input here and that is 12 volts because I haven't got a 27.5 volt uh, socket and it's just easier because I've got loads of 12 volts sitting around. It goes into this which boosts the 12 volts to 27.5 volts. Actually it's closer to 28. I didn't quite get it to 27.5 but what, what, what are you going to do? And this sends the voltage to the relay heater filament via this button and then this LED turns on when the contact is made inside of the relay. It's got a uh, current limiting resistor on the LED inside that little little light and that that's that's all the circuit is it's it's very very simple and very very bland <laughs> so I've just gone ahead and bypassed the switch with some alligator clips so we can film the uh, movement of the uh, contacts without me having to touch down the switch and it shaking and stuff so let's try and get a video of it doing its thing so I've turned the light down in the hopes that we can see the faint glow it is very faint that comes from the filament but yeah cue time lapse Okay, so I was timing it. I think it may be because the voltage is slightly too high. I've gone for a 28 volts. It took about 130 seconds, but still that's not bad. Now all we need to do is we need to wait for the contacts to open, uh, which take a little while. Uh, it's cooling down process isn't as sure, and basically you've got to start it from cold to get 150 seconds or, well, near abouts. So we're going to wait for it to cool down, wait for the contacts to open, and then I'm going to get a time lapse of it really, really strong straight on with the relay.
so now it has a place on the wall. You may notice it is rather cramped, but I do plan on cramming quite a few of these little projects on this wall amongst others. But I'm starting here, so I'm just going to put a fair few around here. There is enough space on the front of this for a tiny little description of what is going on here. If you have a way of eloquently putting what is going on here, then please pop it in the comments below and I, I might print it out and, you know, give you a tag at the bottom. Because that is one thing I suck at, is uh, lit literacy. <laughs> anyway, let's try out the most boring uh, interactive machine possible. Uh, I'll see you in about 150 seconds. So that is the delay uh, relay, how, how thoroughly interesting. It hasn't quite turned off yet, but whilst I was building this, I actually found a really, really interesting YouTube video on delay relays. The link is below, but it was by a fella who actually made an A-stable multivibrator with uh, these delay relays. One of them was normally open style and the other one was normally closed. And when they were put together, you could actually make both of them turn them on and off. And I, I thoroughly recommend you go and watch that video now. It's really, really rather interesting. Oh, it's turned off now. But yeah, this is the Museum of Everything Else. If you want to support these kind of videos and things like this and that and amongst loads of other extra content, then please go and check out over on my Patreon because I'm going to try and up the kind of frequency of silly little videos and things like this. And uh, I'll be talking about stuff like this over on my Patreon as well. So yeah, if you like this, subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon.